I'm an animal lover, but I usually tell people that my rule for my favorite animals is four legs or less. Not such a big fan of insects, but as a trained ecologist, I know that they're incredibly important for the ecosystem. But imagine this, an insect that's about two inches long, has a three inch wingspan, and it's able to dissolve human flesh. Maybe that's why I'm not such a big fan of insects. I'm Janice Crenetti. I've been teaching environmental science for 20 years, and I'm here to talk to you today about a species called the Japanese hornet. It's also known as the Asian giant hornet, aptly named since it's got a three inch wingspan. That's pretty big, even for an insect. Well, how can you identify one of these Japanese hornets? Well, they have a very distinct look about them. Because they're an insect, their body exists in three parts. The head tends to be sort of an orange color, and like most insects, they have what were called compound eyes. If you've ever looked at a picture of a fly up close, you'll think of all those different lenses on that one eye. And their lenses tend to be brown. The front legs are orange and the back legs are brown as well. They tend to have grayish wings and a bit of a golden tint on the front of their body with darker brown towards the back. Now, like I said, these things are pretty, uh, pretty dangerous. They actually have a large, almost parrot-looking like beak that's, that's at their mouth part. And they're capable of injecting venom into a human being that can actually eventually kill you. If you get bit by one of these, it's important to go and have seek treatment right away. You don't want to mess with one of these guys. I'm Janice Crenetti, and this is Japanese Giant Hornets.